In this video, we're going to be looking at divider, and then we're going to be looking at the docs, and then we just have a very brief example because there's not a lot to dividers. Sorry if I accidentally bumped the mic there, but let's get to looking at the docs. And it says dividers here are used to visually separate content in a list or group. So we come down here, we have one import, which is divider. And then we're just bringing it in. It says the divider displays a thin horizontal or a vertical line and renders a HR tag. So if you know basic HTML, this HR tag should be super familiar to y'all. And then we have the divider orientation right here. It says pass the orientation prop to set it either to horizontal or vertical. And so we could have, you know, it going horizontal right here or down below we have vertical. It says if the vertical orientation is used, make sure the parent element is assigned a height. And that's my dog being a little really damn loud in the background. So we have a center in here, which is a height. And I think it was similar to that of a slider too. You kind of kind of you kind of have to watch what's going on in the outside of the component. But we have this divider orientation vertical here, and it's very thin, and it may be hard to see right here, but there is in fact a divider, if you don't believe me, go to the Shocker website yourself, or to stick around, follow my coding example, and I'm sure you'll see it yourself as well. We have composition here, and so it's really funny, it says composition, but there's like no explanation down below, which is kind of funny to me. And so we have this stack here, we have this divider, which is vertical. So it's on the left side of Shocker UI, which is a text component. So we have the stack and a row. So in the row, the first element is going to be this divider. And then we have Shocker here, which is interesting because what you could technically do here if you wanted to, which is interesting, is you can make a divider. You could have it be on the left hand side right here. And then what you could do is you could add another stack and then put text or whatever you want to down here. And so as you scroll down, this the uh, component or the parent uh, stack right here may be you know, 500, 600 pixels high, whatever it is. And you could have this kind of quasi scrolling effect on the inside. I don't know, I'm just you know spitballing right here because I think this is kind of an interesting way of using a divider. Because if you just use a divider here and then slap the text in, it looks kind of boring unless you're you know doing something else with it but anyways to get off my rambling there we have the props be sure to look at the props seems like there's only three you could really feed it so let's uh code out a divider and see what they're all about in our first example of a divider let's just look at a just a basic divider and we're going to put that inside of a stack So here we have a divider. I know it's kind of peeking out right here on the right hand side. If we maybe take even, I don't know if the padding off would help out. It helps out a little bit there. Plus, you know, I typically keep everything inside of a box and now I added more padding to the stack. Anyways, this is your typical divider right here. And so this would be a divider to pretty much separate visually content above and below. So you're kind of going in a vertical fashion here. But what if you wanted to do something that was, I don't know, a, a bit more different. So let's look at how we could change the orientation of the divider. So rather than it going horizontally, it'll go vertically. So let's give this stack some height. And so now we have this line right here. And I know it's not the sexiest thing because it's off to the side. Maybe I could have put, you know, wrapped this divider in the center and it would be right here in the middle. But I think that would be slightly uh, just overkill. So we have this line going up and down here. And this is the divider. So maybe we would have a site, if we were to expand this out, where there may be, I don't know, a sidebar here. Maybe we want some kind of divider, some light divider right here. And then here's the rest of the content. Or maybe there's like a quick links thing on the side. I'm not quite sure how you would use this, in your case that is, but this is how you make a divider. This is how you make it vertical. I just showed you how to do it just horizontally or, you know, um, how it comes out of the box. 
And if you like this stuff, like, share, subscribe. I love making videos, and I'll see y'all in the next one.